Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the ATP Finals groups have been announced and they've been picked. And we've got some very interesting matchups on the way in the round robin stage. Some very big matchups between players that have never played before and some players that are in some great form as well. Let's go to the groups now and see who is in the green and the red group for Turin. Starting with Djokovic's group. Who is he going to play? He's playing City Pass, Rublev, and Rud. So a nice little group there for Djokovic. Never played against Rublev, as we'll see in a second, uh, and also has a good record against the other two guys. So Novak Djokovic fans, be excited because his group is very, very winnable. And then the other group, the group of death, is the red group. It's Daniel Medvedev, Sasha Zverev, Berrettini in her catch. And I'll tell you what, anybody could get out of that. Her catch, Berrettini, any of those guys could actually get through to the semi-final stage. So let's start with the world number one. He is the top of his group. He has won this title a bunch of times. Last time he won this was actually six years ago. So back in 2015 was the last time he actually won this event. But here are the records against the players in his group. 6-2 against City Pass. So very confident there that he should win that match. He's never played against Rublev, which would be an interesting matchup. But Rublev right now is not in very good form. And against Rud, who is his first round opponent or his first match of the tournament, he has a 1-0 record against. So he'll be liking his chances against everybody in his group. If he does make it to the semifinals, he'll be playing one of these guys, Medvedev, who has a 6-4 record against and just beat him in the Paris final against Zverev. He's 7-3 with their last match being played at the US Open, a five-set epic. Berrettini never lost to him, 4-0, and, and he's 3-0 against Hercat with their last meeting happening at the Paris indoors. So Djokovic, if he does get through his group, he'll probably want to avoid Medvedev who he could finish second in the group, Medvedev, and play Djokovic if Djokovic does finish first. But there are a few opponents that he would definitely rather play if he does get to the semi-final stage. Second person in Djokovic's group is Sidzipas, who is coming in with a bit of an injury. So injury cloud for Sidzipas. Best result here was winning this tournament back in 2019. And he has a bad record against Djokovic. We just saw that, two and six. Has a winning record against Rublev, which might be the tiebreaker to see who actually finishes behind Djokovic in this group. Four wins, three losses. He's won one against Rud, but most of that was a clay court event, so he hasn't lost to Rud on a hard court. And then against the other group, Medvedev. He has a two and six record against. Against Zverev, he's actually got a good record, six and three. So if they play in the semifinals, he'd be liking his chance against Sasha. 2-0 against Berrettini and 6-2 against Hercac. So if Tsitsipas is to get through this group, he'll be liking his chances in the semifinals as long as he avoids Medvedev because the other guys, he has a pretty decent record against. Having a look at Rublev now and last year was his debut in this tournament. Only got to the round robin stage, didn't get through that tournament. Uh, but you know, maybe this year, he has some decent records against some players in his group. Never played Djokovic, as we mentioned. Has an, a 50-50 record against Tsitsipas, three wins four losses and he has never lost to Rud in the four times that they've played so he can probably beat Rud don't know what happens with Djokovic but the City Pass match as I said that might be the tiebreaker if he can win that match he might be able to get to the semi-finals but recent form Rublev he's been in lots of trouble so let's see if he can regain some form as quickly in this tournament if he does get to the semi-finals he has to play somebody that he has a losing record against because he has a terrible record against everybody in the other group 1-4 against Medvedev 0-5 against Zverev 2-3 against Berrettini and 0-2 against Hercatch. so if he is to make it to the semi-finals he'll probably want to play Berrettini but unfortunately for Rublev his record does not really favor him against the other group which he's going to have to inevitably play if he does make the semis and the final player in the green group is Kasper Rudd who's making his debut at this tournament and his record isn't great against these guys especially on the hard courts because he's more of a clay court guy and that's how he got all his wins and all his uh, titles this year getting this into this tournament through the clay court seasons and you can see there 0-1 against Djokovic 1-1 against City Pass and 0-4 against Rublev so hey look Rud might be able to win a match maybe against City Pass uh, I doubt he's going to beat Djokovic, and Rublev seems to have the wood over him, but maybe against Tsitsipas. Maybe he can, uh, you know, get his first win there, and who knows, Tsitsipas is a little bit injured coming into this tournament. Might give Rud a chance. Against the other group, if Rud was to get to the semis, uh, his record doesn't much improve. 0-2 against both Medvedev and Zverev. 2-2 against Berrettini, which is interesting, and he's never played her catch. So, Rud, you know, unfortunately, I think he might be the guy who's just making up the numbers in this tournament, as there always seems to be one guy in the ATP Finals who just sort of Makes up the numbers, but 
He might be able to sneak a win against someone like a City Pass if uh, Steph is not 100%. Let's go to the other group now. This is the red group, and the red group spells blood. And when I say blood, I mean death, because this is the group of death. We have Medvedev, number two in the world. He won this tournament last year. He's the defending champion, and he has a terrible group. He has a lot of players that he's going to have to beat uh, that have, have got pretty good records against him. Zverev, 5-5 five, five is their head-to-head. -head. They actually played in Paris a couple of uh, weeks ago, so Medvedev will like his chances against Zverev, I guess, because of that win a couple of weeks ago. 2-0 uh, against Berrettini, so he doesn't mind that. But her catch, that is the danger man for Medvedev. They've played a couple of matches this year, and it's been very tight. Five-set match at Wimbledon and a three-set match leading into the U.S. Open. So her catch is the danger man. And if Zverev's 100% feeling better, because let's be honest, Zverev wasn't 100% against Medvedev two weeks ago, that could be interesting too. So Medvedev, he's got to play his best if he's going to get out of this group alive. If he plays the other group in the semifinals, 4-6 against Djokovic, 6-2 against Tsitsipas, 4-1 against Rublev, and 2-0 and against Rud. So if he avoids Djokovic in the semis, Medvedev will be liking his chances of making the final, especially if he plays someone like a City Pass or, uh, or a Rublev, which was probably the players that we'd expect him to play if he does, in fact, make that semi. Let's get to the second player in the group of death. It is Sasha Zverev. He won this tournament back in 2018. And we just talked about the Medvedev matchup. Five wins, five losses. Uh, and Zverev will want to turn around that Paris loss a couple of weeks ago. He's got a 3-1 record against Berrettini, which is pretty good. And Hercac only played the one time, but he got the win. So Zverev, he'll be liking his chances against the other guys. Medvedev, not so much. But against Berrettini and against Hercac, definitely be liking his chances. If he does make the semifinals this year, he will hopefully avoid Djokovic because he has a 3-7 record against Nole. 3-6 against Tsitsipas. Rublev, he's got a 5-0 record against, so that's a good win if he can get it, and 2-0 against Rud. So, so Zverev does have a good draw if he can get through maybe Berrettini and Hercac, maybe make the semifinals and avoid Djokovic. He could maybe go on and, uh, and steal this title. Let's talk about Berrettini. He got to the round robin stage here two years ago, and unfortunately uh, didn't play great. I think he might have won one match, but he didn't do great overall in that tournament, uh, hoping to do a lot better, and he's in a better group this time. Uh, unfortunately, though, his record doesn't really speak uh, speak volumes. 0-2 against both Medvedev and Zverev. 1-1 against Hercatch. But look, hasn't played them that much. He can still get the wins over those guys. Uh, Hercatch will be the tough one. But he could maybe sneak a win against Medvedev or Zverev. You know, don't count Medvedev. Uh don't count Berrettini out. Also, if he does make the semifinals, his record against the other guys in the other group are not great. 0-4 against Djokovic, 0-2 against Tsitsipas, 3-1 against Rublev, and 2-2 against Rud. So if he does want to play in the uh, semifinals, he'll probably want to play against Rublev if he can help it. But look, Berrettini, I feel like this time around, he's going to be a lot more competitive than he was in the first edition of well, his debut back in 2019. And the final player... In this group of death, the red group is Hubi Hercatch, and he might be the most dangerous player in the entire competition because it's his debut, so it's his first time playing these events. Nothing to lose. He's in great form as well. Don't forget to mention that he did make the semifinals of Paris, lost to Djokovic, almost beat Norway last week. Uh, against his group, though, he has a pretty decent record. 1-1 one, one against Medvedev. He has a losing record against Zverev, but they've only played the once and 1-1 one, one against Berrettini. So Hercatch, he could definitely win two of those three matches and make it to the semifinals. So definitely the dark horse in the event for me. And we've had random champions win this at the in the last, you know, four or five years. So who knows? Maybe Hercatch is the random champion for 2021. If he does win, though, and get to the semifinals, he's going to have to play one of these guys. Uh, Djokovic, he has a 0-3 record against, but it seems like... The last couple of matches they've played, he, you know, he has started to get some, uh, especially the match a couple of weeks ago, is starting to get into those Djokovic matches. 2-6 against City Pass, that's a pretty poor record, so he'll want to avoid Steph. 2-1 uh, against Rublev, and 0-0 against Rud. So, look, her catch for me, dark horse, watch out for him. He could win the whole thing. He could lose in the first round and not you know, lose all his matches, but also, I just think he's going to be a very difficult customer for the players that are in his group. And from the semifinals onwards, he's going to be tough if he does make it out of the group. No one wants to play her catch at this event. So there you have it, the ATP Finals for 2021. And let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this event? We've got Djokovic. He's probably going to be the favorite with Medvedev close behind. But I keep pumping up Hubi Hercatch because for good reason, he is dangerous.
He is very dangerous. He could beat anybody in his group. And we saw last week, he can almost beat anybody in the world. He nearly beat Djokovic. The tiebreaker in the third set. We might get another match like that if they cross paths. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go with Djokovic to win just because it's the easy pick. But I, I don't, I'm not picking it with any confidence. I wouldn't be surprised if Medvedev goes back to back. Zverev could lift at the last part of the season. Her catch could come out of nowhere. Rublev could catch fire for all I know. So let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win. So the ATP Finals, the groups are set, and we're ready to go in a couple of days.